To some, the answer is obvious. Skull-headed monsters and demon-like figures are probably the most blatant. Then, there is the upside-down cross, depicting a mockery of Jesus Christ. There is, of course, the sign of Satan. And there is the number 666, also known as the mark of the beast, the symbol belonging to the Antichrist, who, the Bible tells us, is Satan. It's almost cute, it's almost in to be satanic, and I think that speaks of, of the culture abandoning its Christian roots. But, in May of 1982, Teenagers of a congregation in Topeka, Kansas, destroyed thousands of dollars worth of records and tapes which they felt contained the message of Satan. The Christian concern sheds light on a more secular aspect of music listening. It's what you don't hear. Government investigations has found subliminal messages on certain albums when played in reverse. A bill now before Congress would require warning labels on those records containing backward masking. And that way, uh, uh young people that don't want this kind of material, whether it's political messages that Reagan is a great guy or whether it has anything to do with, with Satan or Charlie Chan, uh, they're not going to have to they, they listen to it. Parents who go out to buy their kids, uh, the Teeny Boppers, uh, record albums during the Christmas period, uh, they will see uh, the warning label. What I've done here is queued up this song. It's called um, Fire on High from the ELO Face the Music album. Yeah. And I wouldn't have known about I mean, I, I've played this record a million times, and I've heard that, you know, what tape sounds like when it's running backwards. I've heard that there's something in here backwards, but I've never felt moved to put it on tape and run it backwards and see what it says. Well, it's real easy, this particular record, to just take your hand and, and go like this, and we'll hear what it says. The music is reversible, but time... Music is reversible, but time. Turn, turn back, back, turn, turn back. back. What does that mean? I think it's a gimmick. I mean, it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't seem too diabolical to me. I think it's just a gimmick. Gimmick? Maybe. Let's take a closer look at what some bands are really doing. You're listening to the number one requested song of the last 10 years, a familiar song. Some believe it deserves a warning label. Why? Listen to the song backwards. It's called Stairway to Heaven. Just the very fact that this has gotten some attention may cause record groups to say, hey, uh, rather than get hassled by the feds, uh, let's do all this rotten satanic stuff forward. People say it's, it's, it's uh, Satanism. You can say we're a religion because when you have 5,000 kids all believing in this band, that is a religion. It is Satan carrying us further and further and further all the time. It's, you know, it's... It's selling your soul.